Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rina Fujino. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, and I'm a software developer from CHIO team. Uh, today, I'd like to present how to extend CHIO to send telemetry data to cloud IoT platforms using CHIO. This presentation consists of two examples. The first one is a Python script to send the temperature and the humidity from a sensor. And the second one is a node red flow to send values from Modbus TCP client. So before dive into the two examples, I'd like to show you my Cumulosity tenant first. So I think you see my Cumulosity tenant. And now I have one device, it's connecting to Cumulosity IoT. And you can see um, the device is sending uh, temperature data periodically. I have one question to you. Um, have you ever faced a situation that you just want to send the device measurements to a cloud IoT platform? So like this uh, device. But then you will find that actually you need to write complicated code to manage the MQTT connection, security certificates, or if you decide to use device SDK provided from your desired cloud, uh, cloud IoT platform, then maybe you know that it's a little bit complex to run it. But CHIO provides cloud agnostic connections to many cloud out of the platforms out of the box. Using its MQTT bridges allows you to simplify your connection as it manages the authentication, registration, and data formatting for your IoT platform. That means CS.io leaves you to develop your edge app in a rapid programming language like Python or as an example, the Nodelet. Uh, it's a visual uh, flow-based development tool, or even other any kinds of tools, uh, unless uh, as long as it supports MQTT. So CHI removes the uh, cloud complexities and of connection and allows you to focus on the processing me measurements data. So let's briefly explain how we got here. So embedded software development is being hard. Rapid software development tools being increasingly used for solution development and increasingly multiple languages and tools are used in a single IoT device. That means you need a specific adapters uh, which must be developed for each IoT platform. And the communication between heterogeneous app is very complicated. And the developer needs considerable efforts to develop connectors for each cloud IoT platform. And the robust inter-process communication is typically tried to the specific hardware and software implementation. But don't worry, now we have CHIO. So CHIO allows software developers to rapidly develop secure connection between cloud IoT platforms and coexistent apps developed in any programming language or development tool. This allows software developers to focus their efforts on the processing and interpretation of the measurements data, rather than the complexities of transferring the data from edge to cloud. So let me illustrate how measurements can be simply sent to the cloud using Python script and node flow. This is my first uh, demo. Um, here, as you can see, so I have one sensor, which is a temperature and humidity sensor. And this sensor is connected to Raspberry Pi 4 uh, via GPIO pin. And what I want to achieve here is to monitor the temperature and the humidity coming from the sensor on IoT uh, cloud platform. Uh, namely, Cumulosity IoT and other IoT have. So, in the normal case, uh, without CH.io, I think developers usually go to the uh, cloud provider's official website how to write the code 
to send the telemetry data to IoT platform. And here is a Kubernetes example. There's a Python example, but I'm a bit overwhelmed because I just want to send the telemetry data to Kubernetes. But then I realized that uh, I have to configure server URL, client ID, also I have to give username, password. That means also your code has to take care of the connectivity and secure authentication between cloud and your device. That's a little bit too much. And as a case for Azure IoT Hub, uh, they have SDK for Python. But in general, using SDK is a good idea, but it's a bit complicated because you always have to learn how to use them before you start writing a code. But now my Raspberry Pi 4 uh, has CNGIO already installed and connecting to the both clouds, Kubernetes and Azure IoT Hub. So what I wrote here, the Python code, it's actually only this. Um, the sensor uh, has a native uh, Python library and that library provides us an example how to read the data. This is an example. So you see the difference is actually only those lines. What I did here is a change uh, the data format uh, to CSJSON model. It's actually JSON. And then add one line to publish MQTT message onto the topic touch measurements. And the server is localhost. That's it what I did. I didn't write any calls to configure the cloud connectivities or authentication method. Then let's go to, let's go back to my uh, community tenant here. So here's a temperature, uh, last minute. Yes, I'm receiving 24 and humidity can change to last minute. Yes, 64. And also Azure IoT have side, you see, um, now I am receiving temperature and the humidity with the current timestamp, just five o'clock. Yeah, so I didn't do any complicated stuff because CHIO takes care of all connectivity things out of the box. So uh, let's move on to the next example uh, using Node-RED. I'd like to note that I'm going to use Node-RED just as an example. So actually any tools that talks MQTT protocol is fine. So it doesn't need to be always Node-RED or Python. So about Node-RED, uh, Node-RED is a probably the most commonly used visual flow-based development tool for writing together hardware device. And the good thing of Node-RED is it supports uh, MQTT natively. So what I want to achieve with Node-RED, I'm going to explain. So again, I'm going to use the same Raspberry Pi 4 and Node-RED is running there. Also, I have installed CHIO on the Raspberry Pi 4. And on the same local network, I have another device. There, uh, Motivus TCP client simulator is running. So not let uh, is going to pull Motivus TCP client. Then the client returns the holding resistor value. Then not let uh, converts that raw data to the CHJSON measurement format, then publish this to the CHS uh, local MQTT broker. Then CHIO uh, will send uh, that measurements to Cloud IoT platform, Kubernetes, IoT, and as IoT have. And so that simulator, so here uh, address one, and it's generated think uh, random value from zero to 10 integer. Then how I did it with Node-RED. Actually, I made only three nodes. I'm, uh, the first node, uh, I have installed um, Motobus libraries for Node-RED. The first one is Motobus read. 
um, just configuration is yes, uh, unit ID one and reading holding register and location of the device. This local host, uh, not sorry, not local host and another device than uh, Raspberry Pi. And then that raw data goes to the function. Function, I wrote actually only two lines. It changes the format to CHJSON. And this CHJSON message goes to MQTT out. So going to publish onto the local host and the topic name is stitch measurement. This is a predefined uh, topic name by CH. Only that's this one. If you don't use CHIO, what you will need is you have to get uh, each cloud uh, nodelet library. For example, as the IoT Hub, there's this library, and for Cumulosity, there's another library. So if you don't use CH, you have to give the also configuration uh, to establish the connectivity, the cloud on the nodelet. But uh, this is exactly what CH does out of the box. That's why I don't have any more nodes. Then, so let's change a bit configuration to pull every five seconds and, and deploy. Yes, and let's check this Cumulosity again. Yes, now you can see that I start receiving the value four, nine, seven. Let's go to the other uh, simulator. Yes, seven, one, yes. So only with these three nodes, I could publish my measurement to both class. So not that it's very powerful to, uh, to save uh, developers effort to uh, make uh, any configurations. But I would like to say the combination of Node-RED and the CHIO makes development efforts much lower. So, yes, this is a second demo. Then let me summarize uh, about my presentation. So through the Python and Node-RED examples, I hope you had an impression that CHIO simplify to write code or configure tool. And with CHIO, you don't need to worry about writing cloud connectivity, SDKs, complexities, or programming languages. The Python and the Node-RED are just examples that support MQTT. So you can use any programming language or tools that which supports MQTT. Then approximately after five minutes, your device will start sending measurements to your desired IoT platform. And a similar process can be followed when using CHIO to connect C or C++ apps. And if you visit our website and the GitHub repository, there are more instructions how to send telemetry data to your desired cloud platforms. So visit our website and try it out. So thanks for listening.